And the hearts all over the world tonight Said the hearts all over the world tonight Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Remember last video I said I was gonna upload every week? Well, it's four weeks later and I didn't do that. <laughs> Honestly, January has been a super, 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 I'm not making excuses you guys, I promise, but January has been a super busy month for Celine and I with our fitness account, or sorry, our fitness company. We've been, I mean, knock on wood, we've been crazy busy and a lot of changes have been happening. I chopped off all my hair. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw like cut off all my hair. So I actually just came back from a facial, sorry if my face is like super shiny and all, but I have like a ton of products on my face. I just got back, you guys, from an amazing facial. I wanted to film my entire experience so for those of you who've never gone to facial before you can kind of see how it is and she was oh my god she was the sweetest she lived super close to me so it was like perfect it was perfect distance didn't have to drive too far she was just amazing she had a gentle touch she gave me so many like tips and advice about skincare and about even hair care when you guys see the video you'll hear about it like this is the clearest my skin has been in such a long time you guys girl that's not oil, that's literally just like glow. You guys don't understand how happy I am, like the results from this facial, and it's only been a few hours. Back home, I would get facials here and there because it really helps with my skin because I have acne prone skin. I have oily, combination, uh, oily to dry skin, so combination skin. And I always get breakouts. I don't break out as often anymore, but I really love getting facials because it just literally feels like all the dirt and gunk in your skin is just like being sucked out. It's like an amazing feeling if you haven't gotten a facial. I highly, highly recommend you do. I know sometimes it can be pricey, but even if it's once a year, um, have them look at your skin and suggest things because... So I know a lot of us, whenever we want to update skincare, we usually watch YouTube videos and go online and search things, and those could be true, but a lot of times... Just because it works for one person doesn't mean it's going to work for you, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you the products that she recommended for me and that I'm trying because I like completely threw out my skincare line that I was currently using and switched to a whole new one because she was mentioning how our skin gets really used to some sometimes when you use a product for too long, your skin will get used to it and it won't really change. So it's good to change out your skincare. Same with hair care. It's good to change out your shampoo and conditioners here and there if it's not really doing the same for you anymore. So I kind of just, you know, treated myself and splurged a little bit and got a whole new skincare line. And then in a month after I'm using all these products, because it usually will take a month for me to like see results, I'll do a whole new updated skincare for you guys so you guys can see. Enjoy my facial. <laughs> Enjoy me being super relaxed. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good. Yeah. So, you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Fatima. Um, I'm going to be working with Janelle today. So, we're going to start off with a skin analysis. Um, so, tell me a little bit about your skin. Okay. Like, how does it feel on a daily basis? Well, unfortunately, I don't have good skin like C. Mm -hmm. But I used, to have have really skin. <laughs> I used to have really acne. Um, a lot of acne, sorry, okay. when I was in high school. Like, when I was 13 okay and um, I wouldn't say I had severe acne but I always get like I used to have like bumps all over my forehead and I always get um, just spots like on my cheeks I don't know okay. I feel like that's my problem like okay. I always get spots on my cheeks like what I don't know what it's called when it's like underneath the skin yeah they're like you know cystic I mean? acne yeah. it's not like a pustule uh -uh. or a white it's head like, that you can see just like randomly a bump will form and it hurts like what the fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah, overnight definitely like, piss when you wake up <laughs> um do you pick or pop your Sorry. pimples at all um sometimes I do on a daily basis do you feel more oily combination dry? yeah I would say I'm oily okay but sometimes I'm dry like after tone <laughs> <laughs> After toning and stuff, like I'll feel like definitely tighter, but I feel okay. like that's just what happens when you tone. Anyways. That's true. And it's also um, um, products, so I'll be going over what products that you use at home as well. Okay. Um, so let's get started. If you can tell me a couple of things that you would like to improve about your skin, what would they be? I feel like there's always congestion. I don't know okay. if that's a term. Yeah, Like definitely. right here. Okay. And um, I don't really, I feel like I don't really have big pores. So, okay. I mean, I do have like blackheads, but every time I try to like... Get them out. Get them out, they're very stubborn okay. or I think they're just like really tight or something. Okay. Um, yeah, just less breakouts. Like I feel like I do a lot to help my skin. Like I'm really good with skincare. I don't know if Celine told you, but our mom has been in the beauty business forever. Yeah, so like I've, I've tried so much shit. Like yeah, I'm sure I used to be on the pill <laughs> to help acne and all. Yeah. 
So I feel like I take good care of my skin no matter what I do. I always wake up with a breakout and okay. I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, um, let's get started. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll, t I'll walk you through everything and we'll talk about why I'm using what product on you. Okay. I basically customize my facial for every client. I'm not going to use one product line on you. Um, I'm like so shy. <laughs> so this first product we're using is the Amore Pacific. Um, I love this product. I use this day and night. Um, so Amore Pacific is a Korean skincare brand. It's got vitamin E oil in here, um, algae, so it's really healing and soothing on the skin. Especially for somebody who's um, sensitive or anything like that. Like your sister had a little bit of redness in her cheek. She does, yeah. Yeah, and I noticed that this definitely helped calm it down a little bit. Yeah, your sister is the cutest. Oh my God, she's, she's so cute. I was like, I'm so, I'm like giving her like a mother talk when she was in here. I'm like, I'm so proud she's of like, you. She's like so like innocent and that's not like she in a is. bad way. Yeah, no, it's you know a what good I mean? thing for sure. Like, she's yeah. such a sweet and genuine person. You like, can I tell she's it. got a great heart you she know? does yeah. oh my god like every time someone meets her they like she always gives like the perfect first impression I feel like I bet yeah she's so cute. me on the other hand it's <laughs> <laughs> the older my ones mom, you gotta look out for my mom always says I have a bitch face that's so funny <laughs> so this next product we're gonna use um, somebody like you for like breakouts all that good stuff mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean bad stuff um, <laughs> this is gonna be one of my favorite cleansers it's Peter Thomas Roth. Um, so it's in. It's a cleanser for breakouts. It's got salicylic acid in here. It smells amazing. It's got grapefruit and lemon, um, lemon oil in here. So it's really good for pigmentation. So as you Ooh, can see yeah, on your skin, mm -hmm. exactly, it's gonna help to lift up those scars. So this isn't a cleanser that you want to use every day. I know it smells so good. <laughs> Feels good. Um, so it's like a, a weekly cleanser. I would. I would say that you would want to use this like two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. um, just because the salicylic acid, you don't want to use acid on your skin every single day. Yeah. Um, especially when you start to notice that the like breakouts are starting to come up, that's when you want to use it um, the most. I feel like I also break out a lot from like stress. Uh, For sure. I know diet has a big part of it too, but, but I feel you guys like it's eat healthy. Yeah, 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 you guys eat healthy. I don't think it's from my diet. Or maybe just lack of water too, because I, okay. I, I, I was just going to ask you. Does my skin look dehydrated? No, no, but I, I always ask people, um, you know, how much water do you drink? Because that makes a huge difference in clearing yeah. up your skin. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll tell if you're dehydrated once we get to extractions. Because just like you were saying earlier, like uh -huh. your blackheads don't come don't won't come out yeah. um, if you're not drinking enough water your skin will hold on to any moisture on your skin so blackheads are basically like dirt and oil built up so yeah. if you're not drinking enough water your skin will hold on to the the blackheads they won't come out um, and then if they don't come out they turn into pustules which are basically whiteheads this is such a good like skin lesson because Aww, thanks I can't wait to share this because like I'm I always learn new things every yeah day. I'm not the best at skin so okay that makes sense because I feel yeah. like I could easily be drinking more water than I should okay so, so I'm gonna have how to... much would you say you drink a day see that water bottle where is it okay yeah I, I drink it. like maybe three or four of those a day okay that's that's still a lot that's not but bad, yeah i do work out so i feel like i need to like should definitely drink be more. drinking more um so for exfoliants when's the last time you actually exfoliated your skin oh. um maybe a few days ago yeah and i always say you want to exfoliate and you want to mask before bed because there's no point in you exfoliating or masking before you guys go out like you know because outside you get pollution you get dirt you get I oil i never thought of that yeah. i always be putting on masks before makeup oh yeah no see <laughs> like la is so polluted and i don't think people realize it but when you're walking around you get like dirt and smog and oil actually I gets trapped into your pores yeah so the next time what I'll have you do is mm -hmm. um, next time you're out for the whole day or just you know if you're not wearing any makeup or anything get a cotton round and some toner uh -huh. um, and then wipe your skin you can actually see the dirt on your cotton round I kind of I sometimes do that you do yeah, yeah. uh-huh so you'll That's see it crazy so this next That's product, disgusting. Oh yeah. my god. So okay. this next product is Kate Somerville. It's called Exfoli uh, Exfolicate. Um, I really love this one. You can see the coloring. It's got like green, um, but it's Careful. basically pumpkin, papaya, enzymes in here. So it eats away at dead skin. Um, great for your acne scars too. So you would do this like once a week. Um, so the enzymes basically eat away all the dead skin and they help to lift any acne scars or any pigmentation or anything like that. Feels like, like it's that. eating my skin. Uh -huh. So this product that I'm using on you, so um, a lot oh, of the time. Oh, is that Lush? This is Lush, Okay, yeah. oh my God. She spotted that shit from, through <laughs> her camera. About it. Okay, continue. Um, so this product is one of my favorites. It's actually a makeup remover and a cleanser in one. So especially for somebody who's really dry or sensitive. Um, you can feel the thick consistency. That's actually say. beeswax. It kind of feels like um, a face primer. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, so but it's, not as sticky. Exactly. It's um, it's beeswax. It's got honey in here. So beeswax is gonna lock the moisture into your skin. Mm -hmm. um, honey is a natural antibacterial, so it's gonna kill and prevent breakouts. And then it's also got a little bit of rose in here, so it's really oh soothing God, for it any feels redness. In your hands. Mm -hmm. Oh Thank my you. God. Yeah, I love this product. Um, so especially if you're feeling really dry, um, some uh -huh. days you can use this as a cleanser, uh -huh. and you just remove it with a toner and a cotton round. Oh my god, I feel so nice. Mm -hmm. So this next one is Drunk Elephant. Um, it's basically 25% <laughs> alpha hydroxy acid and 2% beta hydroxy acid. So you're gonna feel it sing a little bit. It's only gonna sing for a couple of seconds. Why is it called Drunk Elephant? Um, that's the name of the like the brand, I guess. That's um, so funny. It's huge in Sephora. It's really popular. This is basically like a very light peel. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna help to shrink and minimize your pores. Mm. It's definitely gonna help with discoloration. So it's gonna help to lift all those acne scars. Um, and a lot of the time when you get facials, people think you need to go and like use these super expensive machines. Um, Honestly, like my clients see so many results and I just use my hands. Um, you don't need to do super strong chemical peels where you start shedding like a snake. It feels like it's just like zapping everything away. Exactly. <laughs> and how do you feel about coconut oil? Coconut oil is also good, but I always tell my clients any kind of oil, like rosehip oil, coconut oil on its own, just isn't hydrating enough. I don't I don't like coconut oil for some reason. I it's feel like it's oily. overhyped. I don't know how people are using that for moisturizer. I feel like yeah, that's no. just like that's it's really not crazy. Hydrating enough, right? Um I like it for shaving my legs. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> that's um, like the only thing I use it for. Yeah, I always tell my clients it's oh my never God. hydrating enough. What is that smell? This is um one of my lotions. It's I'll put it here so oh my god, that smells it. so good. So um, this is hemp's pumpkin spice and vanilla chai. It's an all natural um, body lotion. I have well, exactly helps to grow your hair. I'd love to castor know. oil for sure. Really? Castor oil okay. is amazing for hair growth. I use it. I put it in the empty mascara wand. Okay. And I just apply it um, Perfect. at night yeah. on my lashes. Yeah, and if you're using shampoo see. and you're washing your hair every other day, within a month you should see, with anything within a month you should see progress. If yeah. you're using skincare, it, I always tell people give yourself a month to be able to see like a, prog a progress or a difference. Um, and same with your hair, you know, you're not gonna see something overnight. And I think people nowadays were so used to like quick results. Yes. Things take time. You have to be patient and you have to be consistent. So just like working out, dieting, skincare, things take time. You just have to be consistent with it. And I'm gonna go in with a hydrating toner. So this one's from Bobbi Brown. So the first one we did was Breath of Fresh Air. Um, so that one's gonna be really healing. Um, it's also really great for somebody who's combination because it's got salt water, it absorbs all the oil. Mm. Now this one is a little bit more hydrating this one's from Bobbi Brown so because I do feel like you have a little bit of like combination skin mm -hmm. like I notice your cheeks cheek areas are a little bit more dry whereas your nose is a little bit more oily yeah so we're giving your skin a little bit more hydration Wow it feels so nice and then um, I'm, I always follow up with a serum so you don't have to use serums at home this is basically an extra step so if you feel like you put a toner and a moisturizer on and you go to bed and you wake up and your skin is still dry still dry you probably do want to add a serum to your skincare regimen okay so this one is basically vitamin c vitamin e um, and it also has hyaluronic acid in here so for anyone who doesn't know what hyaluronic acid is it basically holds a thousand times its weight in moisture than water so um, wait, wait wait repeat that again uh-huh it holds a thousand times its weight in moisture than water oh. so it really they're like little little molecule molecules sorry um, that really, really penetrate the skin. So they're really gonna get into your pores and give your skin the hydration that you wow. need. Wow. Mm -hmm. Whereas sometimes with your moisturizer, you don't get enough. So I always do this right before your moisturizer. Follow up with a little bit of eye cream too. Oh yeah, yeah, we need that. This one is a vitamin C eye cream. So anyone with dark circles, um, this one's really great for brightening the under eye. Hey. Oh my God, it literally... <laughs> You're all set, babe. Feels like just dirt has been removed from my skin. I haven't had a facial in a year or two, so I really needed it. And it feels and like your skin's breathing, right? No, it just, it feels amazing. Like, I'm Yay. gonna go home, not work out, because... Yeah, you just wanna let your skin breathe sleep. for the rest of and the night. All right, guys, so um, I'm just gonna quickly show you the type of products that I purchased and my new skincare line, and I got some hair care in there as well. And I'm just gonna quickly explain the names of them and what they do and then I'm gonna be using these for a month And I will update you in a month and see how well they work. Okay, so let's start with the first thing first thing she recommended to me um, Is the fresh I got this from Sephora. It's called fresh soy face cleanser. It's for all skin type. It smells amazing It's like a gel 
and it smells exactly like cucumbers go jump into toner so I'm obsessed with Lush products I always use their face masks so I'm super excited to try out some of their other stuff so she recommended the breath of fresh air toner um, this you apply to your face after you um, clean your face morning and night smells absolutely amazing all right next I have um, the vanishing cream which is a moisturizer she said I wasn't getting enough moisture see I would not have known that if I didn't go in to see her because I thought my skin is oily but she was saying that I need more moisture and my skin is too dry so Got this really good um, vanishing cream moisture. It's lightweight, which is perfect because I do have oily skin. And it's a lavender cream that disappears into oily or blemish prone skin. I got the Grease Lightning, love the name. This is a tea tree in aloe gel. And this is, um, this is like a spot treatment, which is awesome because tea tree is really good for acne prone skin as well as aloe, which helps with redness. And I really, really love scrubs. So she recommended, this is also from Sephora, it's called Ren um, Micro Polish Cleanser, but I tested it out at Sephora and it's very gentle. And then last but not least, she was saying how castor oil is really good for hair care, but she also recommended this, it's called Roots, it's a hair treatment. Um, I do have pretty thin hair and over summer I started balding from <laughs> depression and stress. It's so much better now. But still, I would like to get my hair kind of a little bit more, you know, thicker. And she recommended this. It's called Roots. It's for fine hair, which I have. If you guys are interested in getting a facial with her, I'm going to leave all her contact information, her Instagram, and her website down below in the caption. If you guys have any other questions, please leave me a comment below. Love you guys all so much. Really, thank you so much for love and support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.